Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 Neo Geo PSN review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Alpha Mission 2, which if you've never played it before, it's a shmup or... Well, to be fair, it's not really a shmup because it's a vertically scrolling shoot 'em up so not exactly side-scrolling. But anyway, it's still a shmup to me. So, you got the usual, you can choose your difficulty level, pretty much have this on every single Neo Geo game. You can then choose your controls, of course if you've customised them using the Neo Geo station -y thing, then you won't need to do that, just choose here and that'll be what you've set to. And well, the whole point is, you go from bottom to top, shoot the crap out of the enemies, you then get a mini boss or a boss, you beat him, you go on to the next boss, which as I say, if you get the mini boss, then you get the boss. Then you beat him, you go on to the next level, and you do this for all six levels. It's pretty much standard shoot em up length, really, six levels, and uh, they won't take you forever, but of course there is replayability with the fact that it's high score and playing it on harder difficulty and just seeing all the power ups and that, because as you might have noticed since we started, we've uh, managed to collect quite a lot of things to change what we used, uh, had at the start. You can get a shop at the end of each level and you can buy stuff, so I will show that off. and. You can also obviously play the game co-op as you might have noticed. Whilst playing the game though you can push triangle and choose your side. So there I've just changed to laser. And you get a bar which uh, because I'm the left player on the left. And that basically shows you how much time you've got for that. If you get hit you lose time and then it blows up. So you can just collect your sides and use them for opportune moments like against bosses and stuff. And well it's a really good shoot map I, I must admit. I really do like it. I played it in the arcades a very long time ago, had completely forgotten about it, and then it came out from the PlayStation, and all of a sudden I thought, wow, I can't believe I forgot about this game, because I am definitely into shoot em ups, and as I say, this is uh, pretty damn good. So, I'll shut up for a bit of the uh, music. Obviously, you can see graphically it looks really good for a 2D game, and well, as I say, I'll show off the uh, shop. So that was a bit of the music and also one of the bosses, this is a shop, you can just basically spend your G's on it and your G's are things like skill points. Um, so I suppose I'll go for whatever the hell I can afford really. The bubble, I might as well buy the bubble, there we go. So this is that bubble that I bought then. And to be fair, from what I've used of it so far, because this is the first time I decided to buy the bubble, it's not all that great. Uh, other things I can mention is the game's a bit like Xevious because there are targets on the ground and that's what your bombs are shooting and you just basically have to aim them up as best you can really because you don't get a target reticule like Xevious so it's just basically a case of eyeing it up which when things are hectic and when you have huge lasers in front of you blasting like this it's a little hard to do so. There's also unfortunately from what I've been able to mess around with the game no way to do an auto fire because your auto fire speed is so slow it might as well not be auto fire so you're pretty much going to want to stick to just bashing it as fast as you can and I might as well correct myself because it appears that bar on the left when you've got powers doesn't automatically drain I must have just been getting shot the whole time when I thought it was draining so there we go then, that's everything there is to say about it. If you like shoot 'em ups, as I say, I think it's fantastic. I've actually been very happy with the Neo Geo games release so far, especially with the additions of things like online play and that, and it's just a shame that I've already got most of them on other consoles, and even then, I might just buy some more. So there we go then, that's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it, or at least found it helpful.
You might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well that's because it's a matter of personal opinion and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well that's up to you. If you don't like it or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment, ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.